Let's talk about the power of strategic partnerships to supersize business. Sharon Hornell from here. And one of my favorite topics is for growing and building and supersizing our business is strategic partnerships. Why? Because I've had so much success with them and they're such a powerful strategy, especially in this day and age of the internet. Prior to the internet, of course, I had regular traditional partnerships in the offline business and in offline businesses. And I realized how powerful they were. And once I got online in 2017, I started to do things online. I really realized how easy it was to contact people in different industries and in my industry to build relationships with them because strategic partnerships don't form out of the blue. They form based on mutual interest. It's gotta be win-win for everybody or you're not gonna join forces for something. And you need to build relationships. We do, we do business and get involved with people that we have relationships with. So they have to be mutually beneficial and we need to actually build a relationship with someone if we expect them to partner up with us on anything, right? Uh, I know there's partnerships that are just strictly financial, but they're not very successful usually, at least in my experience, they haven't been. So how do we identify? Let's talk about number one, what are the four main reasons that we want to do strategic partnerships or look for strategic partners? And then we'll talk about where and how you can go about finding strategic partners if you haven't done any of that yet. Uh, and how we identify potential opportunities and strategic partners. First, we want to do strategic partnerships because they allow us to expand our market reach. They allow us to serve more people, reach more people that we're here to serve. We want to uh, have strategic partnerships in the area of technology sometimes. If we want to accelerate innovation and more creative solutions, sometimes we don't have the expertise in-house and don't want to spend the R&D dollars, but we know somebody that's got what we need, maybe in our industry or another industry that we can join forces with to serve our people better. Uh, product development, joint product developments, done several of those uh, in the offline world as well as the online world. Uh, it gives us access to new channels of distribution and other people's distribution networks, right? Think Amazon, eBay. Lots of people sell their products on Amazon and eBay because it allows them to reach the world, right? You can reach, I don't know how many countries are on Amazon and eBay now, probably just about all of them. Anywhere you can ship to, there is probably an Amazon and eBay presence at. Uh, and then it also helps to reduce the risk of different projects because you're sharing the expenses, you're sharing the risk by joining forces and partnering up with someone. And that enhances our resilience, right? If we are, we're, we're willing to take more risk because it's not just us on the line. And we also, if something happens, it's not just us trying to solve the problem. We've got a partner that's helping us or a partner organization and together we're putting our heads together so we get the use of and the benefit of synergy which is, you know, when two or more people come together, the, the resulting solutions are better than if they just did them separately. It's a very poor definition of synergy, but you can always look it up. So what are some ways, if you have never done a strategic partnership, how do you go about finding someone to partner with? And we could spend a whole day walking through the exact process of how you approach and how you partner with somebody. We're not gonna do that because we just got a couple minutes here. But where are some places you could find and identify strategic partner? Again, with the internet, it is so easy. You can just type it in the search bar. If you've ever gone to Lincoln and typed in the search bar, you can get everybody, literally millions of people that are your target audience or that could be potential partners for you. Uh, networking and networking events are a great place to meet people that you'd want to partner up with. Look for people that, that you are attracted to in a business way and approach those people and introduce yourself, ask questions, find out what they do and where you might have some commonalities. Uh, online platforms and communities, I, I feel kind of silly even having to say that one today because it's, it's usually a part of most of our lives. Uh, referrals and recommendations is my favorite, favorite way of finding strategic partners. If I'm looking for a specific thing, and I've got a, a friend right now that I, I wanna send an email to because I need to approach him about who's doing his YouTube because he's made a huge change in his YouTube and who's there's obviously someone managing it for him. So I want to contact him and say, hey, who's doing your YouTube? Because I definitely need somebody to do my YouTube. Uh, 
So referrals and recommendations are a great way to find people to partner with. Strategic alliances and uh, complementary industries. A lot of times we forget to look outside of our own industry for people that could be strategic partners for us. And then uh, industry associations and chambers of commerce. I've, in the olden days, at the, one of the first places I would ever go was the Chamber of Commerce in an area that I wanted to enter that market and find out who else was doing business there, who belonged to the chamber. I joined the chamber and that's how we would meet and I would form partnerships and, and alliances with people. So that's our topic for today. I would love to know, have you used strategic partners? Have you been a strategic partner? Sometimes you're just the silent partner in these uh, processes, but have you used one? And what's been your experience? I will say I have had absolutely fabulous partners and I've had a couple that I'd, I'd still to this day like to strangle but I wouldn't really uh, but you know what I mean because it, it was such a bad experience but I think the bad experiences taught me how to find the good ones all right have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow with another topic on how to supersize and grow your business